let's welcome Nawab Palaji. Meta surface for broadband acoustic focusing. So welcome, Nawa. Thank you very much. You may be familiar with Snell's law of refraction, which describes to us what happens when sound or light moves from a medium to another, and it tells us that it is based on the refractive index of the first medium and the second medium. And we usually operate with refractive indices that take positive values. But well, what would a material with the refractive index uh, having ne negative values look like. This is precisely what Victor Misanago investigated in his paper, and he showed us very bizarre phenomena, such as a convex lens diverging light. Uh, but his work remained largely unnoticed because of the fact that such material are not, uh, are not are non-existent in nature. And that is until 1999, uh, when Sir John Pendry um, realized a structure that could give the overall um, the overall uh, effect of having negative permeability. Uh, and this eventually gave, uh, gave rise to something called metamaterials, which are materials that are artificially engineered and that they gain their properties not from the uh, chemical uh, properties of their molecules, rather the structure. So this allows us to design the structure in whatever way we want to have the functionality uh, that we want. Um, and similar to, uh, similar to optical uh, or light manipulating metal surfaces, uh, metal materials. There are acoustic metal materials, and uh, the unusual parameters that they uh, that they can have uh, are both, the bulk modulus and the mass density. And they, it's already been uh, shown that some metal materials can act as if they have negative mass density, for example. And you may ask how uh, metal materials can improve our lives. Consider, for example, biomedical imaging, underwater mapping, and cytometry, or the measuring of cells. They all incorporate a single technology, which is acoustic focusing. Or in other words, uh, the converging of sound waves to a single point that has very high intensity. The issue with uh, current sound focusing lenses is that they're often bulky. Uh, they're resonance sensitive in the sense that they only operate for certain frequencies. And the, other, the, uh, the third uh, problem is that they have low energy transmission, where uh, a lot of the sound energy is reflected off of the lens. As such, we uh, make overcoming these three goals uh, our primary, uh, overcoming these uh, issues our primary goal, and the solutions we provide are as shown. For, uh, for the bulk finish problem, we introduce meta surfaces, which are thin uh, plates or sheets of meta materials, uh, and we use those such that the lens can be incorporated easily in delicate devices. And to overcome the, uh, to the, the transmission issue, uh, we perform something called impedance matching. Impedance is defined as the resistance sound encounters as it moves through a material. So if we have two materials and their uh, impedances are the same, then sound can move from one material to another uh, without any loss of energy. Uh, also, impedance is uh, uh, mathematically defined as a product of sound wave and the mass density of the material. So the, the building block or the units of our lens is going to be called the coiling up space. Uh, it's a slab with a slit embedded inside the slab. Uh, the slit is filled with a design material, and we choose the values for the density and the sound speed to be as such. A and D can be evaluated for the schematic here, and we will appreciate why we chose these specific values soon. Now, when you're analyzing the coiling up space, we ask ourselves, how does uh, the, the parameters of the design material and the geometry of the lens affect the overall transmission and reflection of the lens, or the aggregate properties of the, of the, uh, of the coiling up space. And to understand that, we uh, employ something called the homogenization scheme. Uh, so we analyze the pressure fields uh, for the coiling up space, we analyze the transmission, and we do the same thing for, the, for a simple homogenous slab. And comparing the results from both models, we can understand exactly uh, what the refractive index and the uh, density of the filling material we need, such that the overall impedance of the coiling up space is matched to that of the background. Uh, and so, if we have impedance matching, we expect perfect transmission, and this is indeed what we find when we simulate uh, numerically a coiling up space with the given parameters here. Looking at the green line over here, over, even for a range of frequencies, we see almost 100% transmission throughout. This is in contrast to water-filled slits, uh, which have very inconsistent transmission, going as low as 
And now when we stack the coiling of spaces adjacently, we create the entirety uh, or the structure of the lens. Sound waves come in uh, from, from the bottom as shown and they emerge focused to a single point. The way we do that is we, uh, we exploit Fermat's principle. And by definition, we have a focal point. If the time all the sound waves from each inlet, uh, if the time it takes from the inlets to that focal point is the same. And because we chose the speed of sound and the design material to be equal to that uh, of water or the background material, then we can make sure <coughs> we can make sure that they reach there um, at the same time if the total path from each slit is the same. And uh, looking at the margin, marginal slits, for example, we see that they uh, have to travel a longer path. And so what we do is we create a lag effect for the ones in the middle where we stretch the coiling up spaces uh, so that they all reach at that reach the focal point at the same time. Uh, and uh, this schematic shows exactly uh, the, the extent of the horizontal mm -hmm. segments of these slits. And so then we uh, numerically, we're using finite element analysis, we show the license uh, focusing functionality. As you can see, uh, a, a pressure wave coming in, and then after, as it goes through the lens, we see a narrow region with very high uh, amplitude. And it is further shown here uh, by considering the horizontal and vertical cross sections of the focal points, we see a clear focusing effect. Uh, and we also compare it to uh, a lens that has water filled slits. We see a lot more pronounced uh, uh, pressure. And we've, uh, we predicted the value, or we set the value for the focal point, to, for the focal length to be eight units, and we get 7.8, uh, which gives us an indication that our model is verified. So to conclude, uh, we've implemented meta surfaces for an uh, ultra thin lens. We've shown we perfect transmission throughout all frequencies, uh, and we've demonstrated using finite element analysis a clear focusing effect. I would like to thank the mentor team, the academic team, the counselors, SR, uh, SRSI team, the CAUS faculty, and last but not least, and my fellow students. Thank you. Thank you. For the for the impulse matching, we manipulate three things: the density, the um, the sound, or the sorry, the speed of sound, and we can also alter the geometry to account for. So, for example, if we want to take a real material and we want to match the impedance, uh, it's really hard to find a material that has these specific values. So we can play around with the geometries to match the impedance. So it's three things: it's the density, the speed, and the geometry. And we can we can play around with those to match the impedance. And what's the application for the real life? So sorry. What's the application? Oh, there, are, there the applications can be uh, found in medical imaging, in in sonar, for example. We can also use these lenses uh, to create in areas that are cloaked. So if you try to detect a certain area underwater, for example, using sonar, uh, the sound wave can go through that uh, can go through that or, or our device without without any reflection. So it's Pretty much invisible. Is there any further questions? Yeah. So, what uh, impedance means? You use the the word impedance in <laughs> hundreds of times, but maybe I just missed the, the definition of it. Yeah. Uh, impedance, as as intuitively explained, is the resistance sound <coughs> encounters as it moves through a medium. It's very similar to the electrical or to the electrical counter block of impedance. So, uh, can you explain me what was your actual task in this in this research, or what you personally did to achieve this? Research? I mean, to be honest, a lot of the things uh, that I've that I've done is try to recreate the, to recreate or reproduce the results uh, that my co-mentor has already gotten. So uh, we try to we try to fit using in our schedule to fit. Uh, something extra by optimizing the geometric parameters or to show a uh, demonstration of the cloaking that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but due to the time limits, I wasn't able to introduce anything extra. Is there something to do with the permittivity and magnetic permittivity? I know, I mean, uh, these two things are uh, when we speak about optical. Ah. Uh, but the, uh, I have shown earlier, the counterparts in acoustics is the bulk modulus and the mass density.
Okay, let's uh, thanks now once again.